on. Hopefully everyone can hear me just fine. There's no problems, nothing along that sort. Maybe the noise of the music and the sound can be a little bit softer. But I'm gonna give people 30 seconds to get in here. I know I start early, but you know, it's what I do at this point. I start at 8.25 every time for some reason. I do have to point out that the version number in the corner here, the 1.023, you know, I like the fact that they put a timestamp on it in terms of, I'm assuming that's a build timestamp, but here's the thing, without a date and without any real knowledge from anybody who may knows builds, like software builds, um, yeah, it's a little bit strange. Mike is a little bit low on your end. All right, I will up a little bit. I'll move the music down. Um, because right now, if you're if you're a regular person, you're like, wait, why is it 9.38 a.m. on this machine? It's not. But, all right, this is Jet Lancer. This is a aerial dogfight game with story mechanics. And what I also heard... Um, seen described as very Evangelion like which I, I was interested more in the dogfights when I first saw this game I'm like okay that's that seems like a good game to play then I heard the Evangelion part I'm like okay I haven't watched it in a while but you you got me interested so we'll we'll play it looks like you can only play on normal to start off with which okay fine get used to the mechanics and whatnot Top left thing looked like just some weird video editor watermark or something. I mean, that's a possibility. But, yeah, nope. That was a version. Hold RT to start the engine. Oh. Ooh, I like the fact that this is starting with, like, a little cut scene. That you actually interact with. Okay, so thrust RT, L to aim. Go to waypoint. Okay, okay. So, we have a little ship. It is very little, to be honest with you, compared to everything else. All right, it's wanting us to get a little bit used to controls. Okay, and you have to actually speed through them because they became deactivated over time. Afterburn. Is that my boost? Oh, I see. It's my boost. Controls are pretty spot on. Like, okay, down, up. There's a. There's obviously a little delay on the on the actual controlling, but yeah, it makes sense given this game. I mean, it's a dogfight game. Your thing isn't going to um immediately stop on a dime. All right, we have enemies now. Uh, they are starting to... There we go. Looks like we have three hits that we can take. Oh, so we have waves. And it looks like rockets... Replenish. Hey, Mr. Matthews. All right, simple enough to, for a tutorial level. I is my like plane made of like adamantium or something? Did I run into a couple of those people? If that's just so dogfights, but dogfights with suppression, you know what? Yes, obviously. Flushing coolant. Okay, so I got there's a ranking system. I should have waited a little bit on that, but I held A. Um, depressurizing cockpit, rebooting digital displays. Ooh, man. Is this a simulator? Can you hear me, Ash? Wow. After you see that pixel art style and you see this, it's... 
pretty impressive. Uh oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, good. Our 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 airplane is haunted. Hey, Scotty. Can you sit? I'll test the water thing um, in a minute. Oh, you don't do limits. Oh, that sounds like a button to push. Yeah, the first space we are having a planned military satellite de-orbit -or operation soon. You swarm with all kinds of savagers. The sky pirates are looking for debris, but before it's buried under the sea. Yeah, the music I noted on the on the opening screen was like, oh, okay, I'm listening to it in the background like 20 minutes before the stream. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I could listen to this for a while. HMS Vanguard sunk local mercs to blame. Oops. Okay, so I got in trouble for being me, apparently. Our carrier doesn't have a hover drive. Okay. So I'm a talented pilot who got myself into trouble. I have a captain. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so this is an overworld. Okay. Our... Our little carrier here is a little bit interesting. Especially because it could go backwards at the same speed forwards. I'm sorry. I just... I, I, lo I love the sound. Okay. B is the pause button for some reason. That's a little strange to me. First phase of road will start deorbiting Operation A second out, and they don't really don't want any of their military grade equipment to end up in the wrong hands. Got to keep the scavengers Billy, bi Billy, busy until all satellite parts will submerge to unreachable depths. Okay. Looks like the pirates won't really want you dead. They brought out a heavy armored ship. Okay, so I have rockets. All right, so water. Yep. Uh, but seriously though, you can't go too close without it going. Um, um without it automatically changing into you. Call. And we fire squad incoming. Okay. It looks like you could shoot up four rockets at a time. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. That. That's cool. But I'm out of rockets right now. Okay, so it's a wave-based game. Man, I cannot highlight more how well this controls. Like, I feel like, like it's silky smooth. Like, yeah, you, there's going to be a little bit of a drift to it, like as you turn, you know, because you're actually moving your jet in that in that direction and it's got to actually turn but man i am impressed by how well it feels especially in a in a dog fighting game like this you're gonna need something like that i wonder what the combo was for Okay. I took a hit, so...
Um, wonder. That's a weird HUD. A little bit. A rotating mini map? No. Um, I'm assuming that's because we're in a ship. Ship at this point. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's any options to turn that off. I don't think so on the on the mini map portion. Um, but I will say the accessibility, seeing the evade window being a high, like okay, I like I like these options in terms of. Oh well, you could turn off the UI entirely. Which, my name is, I've been detested de magic to clean up today's deorbit. The scavengers buzzing around the satellite wreck weren't the only pirates of the area. Another band of sky pirates have been spotted. I can use another pilot. Okay. Remember this performing a dodge roll will make you invulnerable to any damage for a short period of time. Okay. Okay, so roll to evade. Do a barrel. Do a. Elion. A Valion roll? Is that's what it's actually called? Not a barrel roll? Ooh, allies arriving. Oh, are they just gonna. Okay, cool. You actually have allies. That's neat. may make things a little bit easier, but it does feel like it's nice to see that a game is like, hey, you actually have allies. Ow. I ran right into him. I think, yeah, running into him is going to be a, an issue for me, but... Uh, yeah, a, a Lariat roll. I, you know, you know me with pronunciations. If I didn't look it up, Ah, running right into him. Okay, gotta stop doing that. It is hard to see against the white at times, but I feel like that may be purposeful. There we go. Uh, probably getting a B on this, considering I took so much damage. Uh, maybe an A. Nope. All right. Well. So, would it? I wonder what the clean means. Means no hits. Skybirds attacks have been around the rise around. The Federation wants to know why. Pirates are relating their communication through a series of towers. If you can get close enough, we should be able to crack their encryption. So I actually have to get near it? Okay, cool. That's actually, I actually like the fact that that exists. It, it means that, you know, it's not just a huge series of, you know, fights. You actually have other tasks and those tasks mean something. Especially when you're getting into these little areas and they've got, they've got people coming after you. It is a little bit weird that I can run right into it. Not like, I understand that it may not be like solid in terms of where I'm looking at, but yeah, the boat is the in-between levels thing. Clean, okay, so I, that's, it's related to the hearts. I like the fact that the UI really specifically that. The UI is actually pretty damn like spiffy in terms of like, 
uh, for an indie game. Can you expand the stats on the next? Uh, well, okay. Okay, so let's let's see when I do another mission in terms of the contracts. Um, I'll look at the more specific one. Do you know what the black bars on the screen mean? Um, what black bars? Oh, um, I'm I'm assuming it's part of the UI. Wow, that 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 is like high pa or fast paced, but it's nice. Ow! Oh man, you got me on that shot. That shot came out like if I was go if you're going the direction that they are going, like opposite. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna have a bad time. So you're almost wanting to get up close and personal first. Oh yeah. Man, the the animation too, like like you said, there was the animations in the the um, hack zone. They were nice, but like just the movement here um, is nice. So we have a boss here. Out. Yeah, I was about to say I'm I think I'm gonna hit the thing it is a little bit strange like that. He's staying still I Actually have to go out Reasonably and come back in order to hit him which actually would make sense for a, a fighter fight So okay cool. It's really capturing that like Mid-level like oh, okay, you are an actual pi pilot you got to be careful about how you approach the enemy. You got to be careful about things like that. So, okay, the the expand is just giving you information about um, what you can do to increase your score, which is nice. Yeah, th I can see the afterburner meter making sense in terms of that. Uh, FAQ. I didn't realize we were a girl. I mean, there's no problem with that. I like the I like the look and I like the fact, but it, but but it was just like in the first scene, I didn't get the impression that it was, I thought it was a guy. I guess Ash is also one of those you know names that can be used for both. But I like the look. I like the fact that she's in a actual, you know, aerial jumpsuit as opposed to like just regular. Okay. Warning. Anti-aircraft unit detected. Okay, I guess we're going there. Defeating a boss. We just got an urgent for the Royal Navy. One of their carriers has been crippled and is currently being guarded by some kind of walking ball of guns. You're, you're that Bridget, Bridget lady from Overwatch. You know, a little bit, yeah. Lancer AI. So our AI is starting to act up. Oh, wow, wow, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so I can actually hit the actual cannons. Which is nice. So I got extra points there for dodging. Um, or seemingly dodging. He's at such a weird angle, though. on missiles right now because it's okay yeah now I can go a little bit more oh this is a cool effect ah, I dodged right into him so I love the fact that I actually have to pick up speed and actually wait until I get a little bit far distance before coming in and, and firing that is I, I know I've mentioned that a little bit, but it's it, it's obvious that they're going to keep it up now. I will say that that white and black effect maybe have some problems for certain viewers. Is Dragnix a good pilot? Is Dragnix a good pilot? Maybe. We're not sure yet. Yeah, I'm not sure what the yellow projectiles were for. All right. Keep on. I got I got I got to take bigger loops here. I wonder what what causes the yellow projectile is it that I dodged within a certain time frame and it gave me a bonus. Ooh. That's a nice Okay, time blind wise, it was like, you suck at this. Do I look like a mechanic? It was a job, that's all that matters. That and the goodwill we got for rescuing the cruise ship, they owe us big time. Oh, hey, Lem, a cat. Oh, we have a talking cat, guys. A gentleman's vocoder. Okay. Oh, our cat's an engineer, too. Careful, bud. You piss me off, I piss in your bed. That's the rule. With that little smirk on his head. How is he going to hold a wrench without a deposable thumb? Poor Captain. So now our crew is a old veteran captain, a hot shot fly girl, and um, an engineer cat. I've heard of Love Ri Ri um, what the game you're talking about, FAQ, but I've never played it, actually. Ooh, a loadout button. It's okay, little jet plane. Uncle Lem will have you better than new in no time. A 
Okay. So I can use an ultra rocket swarm or an ultra beam. Let's let, let's put the ultra beam on there for now. And okay, so it looks like we've got an energy meter, a generalist versus specialist. So like I, it could do something specific versus not, and and a difficulty of use, which is nice to see. All right. We got a request for assistance from a RAF squadron patrolling the bay. Apparently, a group of sky pirates have decided to hold some merchant ships hostage. Until they... Okay. I like that the missions do have, like, actual... Like, it feels like they are actually, like, building up. Oh, boy. Whoa! Okay, we got... Ah! Oh wait, did I absorb that? Ooh. I like I like my new weapon. getting into this. Man, this is... Like, the, the fact is, is that what sells this is the controls. The fact is, is that I am feeling like I am 100% in control, no problems. And that every mistake is my own right now. Oh, like that one. Yeah, and the punch on, uh, like, like Mr. Matthew says, the punch on the laser, like the fact that it, it, like, it just stops for a brief second. Oh, I ran right into it. Uh, can I? And you could restart right away. So for those people who are looking for, um, like, you know, to retry things over again and want to be perfectionist, like, you don't have to wait. You can get right back onto it. And the load times, like, there's barely any. Why haven't I heard? I'm so, I'm sort of sad that I haven't heard more about this game going into this. I ran right into him. Ah, got me. Too many things right all at once, and I. Okay, I gotta be stopped using the lasers like that because I'm screwing on things. Blow it out. Um, let's go with the let's go with that weapon. The the weapon is screwing me up a little bit in terms of the way that I'm using it. This is so far. This is showing a lot in this early going and i like the fact like games like this with with dog fights it'll be interesting to see over time because did he just attack me he did yeah that's right I'm not the only one who has missiles. Come on, get him. There we go. I also like the fact that the waves, like, it does use the waves a 
little bit interestingly because they don't just all come right away. Like, you could have a few already going. Um, before you start... Um, taking out the next wave. Ah, man. Dodge that right at the end there. Okay. Yeah, it should be in 60 FPS. If if you have the ch the ability, I need to get better at this, but I feel like there's a lot to learn. <laughs> Let him get a basket of fish. Okay, cool. It's on the switch already? Oh great. That's this I, I I completely forgot that this would be on the switch, or it will be soon. So the fact that this is coming to the switch, being able to play this, you know where and ever. Mamba You seen You seen Obviously this is yours. Oh, and I, I like the fact that it shows me, if I hit left trigger, it shows me all the missions and the actual grades right away. All right, that's nice. Yeah, the red text is a little strange at times, but. I also like how I could predict things off screen and be able to start. There we go. Come on. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, if it, if it supports 144, um, let's see here. It, ooh. I don't know what that HD scaling actually means, though. Um, it's nice that it also has the camera rotation option for the and camera shake option for those who get sick. Um, I'm not sure on the 144. I'm using a 60 FPS screen, or a 50 hertz screen, and I'm not seeing any problems, but... Ah, right, ran, I ran right into, well. Okay, so he's got an attack. It does, it is nice to see that there are melee type enemies. Oh yeah, and he, enemies that are fucking me up. It fe just feels like it's missing the fi fox saying mission complete at the end of the level. Yeah, I wish there was some audio cue on that, but the, the, the little ting of the victory coming on the screen is nice. Oh. is on the other side of the area, so we can't cross it. I like the fact that the story is... Like, we got a couple characters. They're, they're building out the world. Um, each of them have a specific personality.
man, music is well done. I feel like we have a underrated contender this year in terms of um, oh good okay so we gotta escort mama duck so we have a we have a So now we got to play defense, which is interesting. How you doing, Mama Duck? We must protect the ducky at all costs. I am not blowing up Mama Duck. The duck must be protected. Man, the music is like, it's doing its job. The difficulty, surprisingly, like once you get a hang of things, the difficulty is, is, is you know, showing up. It's okay in terms of that, but I feel like it does enough tricks where you gotta be like, well, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me be a little bit more cautious or a little bit more. Ah, Chip, you can beg it. Ooh, did one hit an? Did one just hit another? I think that that's what happened. One chip hit another and caused collateral damage. Ah, uh, this is so fantastic. Mama Duck was okay. Some weapons award more points than others mix it up a bit. Okay. Oh, Mama M Mama Duck took a hit? I didn't realize Mama Duck took a hit. Ooh, new module unlocked. Excellent. Ooh. Okay, so cool your jets so you can use your after burger lana before your cockpit becomes a sauna. Okay, cool. Alright. On to the next one. We're shooting a read. The number of sky pirates in the area has grown. The terror of civilians is shredded. We don't have this now. Okay. I got your back. Okay, so we just have to kill, kill, kill. I, I do love the cat ears, as mentioned. So now we have... Oh, I did I not change the loadout? I thought I did, but... Next, next mission we will. Down he goes. If I want to keep my accuracy, I guess I shouldn't be throwing random bullets out. Ow. I mean, who doesn't use their plane as the actual...
Okay, so I have... Uh, there was a little marker telling me how far I need to go. Fat color is a very Mega Man Legends. -y. Yeah, I could I could see that. Oh, uh, okay. So that was definitely a key of getting my points up. I think you used after the burner one straight. I haven't been using the boost much. I should probably use it more. Okay. Oh, I was using the special weapon. Oh, I would. The charge weapon is obviously different. These are the power for your special weapons so you can use them more often. Mm. Evade mod. Ooh. So I could go really low. Excellent. It works. This is definitely a giant robot sea serpent. I'm a genius. Get out there and kill this thing. It has hyper turbines. Try not to blow them up too much. <laughs> Don't forget to dodge roll into... I like the fact that they're doing enough to the enemy. Ooh. So that's what happens when you don't have the um, that, that that specific one installed. I did that on purpose, obviously. Ow. bit hard on some of these bosses to like Ooh. did I dodge it in a way that I regained health I thought I had to take it to wow that was Took a hit. This is this is feeling like a challenge though. There's an Empress on the Steam Slayer. Ah, Fool Tower. Yep. The Tarot. Elements. Oh. I need to be better at attacking Snake. was was awesome hyper turbines
Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Whoever built this bouncer really knew what they were doing. The only requirement on bosses is time. That's weird. You know, I, I have to admit that is a little weird. Um, I'm not exactly sure why they dumb it down for bosses. With that, you can, should be able to take the cover a short distance over land. That pesky Isthmus won't be stopping us anymore. Oh, we have a loadout chain. Ooh. We'll have to try that one. Woo. Up, uh, hack three radio towers. Death from above. Okay, three radio towers. If you charge straight into whatever the pirates have set up, they'll be gone before you can even just shut up. Let's play this smart, okay? Flying close to the listening posts the pirates are using, and I'll disable them so we can get the drop on them. Ah. Uh. So I think I'm, we're not supposed to maybe attack? Whoa! I don't, I, like, I, I'm taking that literally in terms of what, what they were asking me to do. So I'm gonna see if I, if not firing a single shot is gonna work here. Target hacked. Ow. Come on, I'm hacking, I'm hacking everything. It is literally. Ah, so I, sp that one was, that one makes sense for only time because you're, I'm so focused on trying to get everything that it literally says, okay, don't focus on anything else. Just focus on time. That makes sense. So that, like that one, I understand. Not clean, but you know what? Those guys turn comedy or merchant ship the web and slap. They're using the screen their main force before we engage with whatever stolen tech they've got floating out there. We need to sink a few boats. All right, we can do this. I use my new weapon too. Um, my new weapon? Oops. Oopsies. Um, I don't know what happened with my loadout. Okay, yeah, I don't know why. Navigation, what's this? 
Oh, good. We have an actual meter. That's nice. I am a little concerned that I'm, it's saying already 22% completion. That that may hold the game back. I mean, I, what, I've been playing this for f almost an hour? Granted, it's designed to be reusable. Okay. Wow, that, that that really gives the feeling like you're going on for a run. Damn. I am enjoying, like you could tell that I'm like really enjoying myself when I'm just sort of in awe of the gameplay right now. Like, yeah, I, I talk, I, I talk, I could overanalyze, but in the end, when you get into like a firefight, you're just enjoying yourself no matter what you're doing. Okay, we got another one of them. I should be firing at it off, off screen because my accuracy is going to shit. The perfect dodge mechanic, like dodging at the right time to seemingly get those upcharged uh, weapons is actually sort of cool, not gonna lie. The witch time mechanic. Ouch. She probably shouldn't have gone right next to the thing with the rockets on it. Were there any loadout slots for your default weapon? It's always the machine gun. No, there, it looks like you always have the machine gun um, in question. You, I think you got health back from the dodge. That's possible. We worked, worked on two scripts today. He, his word allowance is all used up. You know what? A little bit, yeah. Now, I will say, trying to dodge that, like going right at an enemy like that, can be a little bit completely missed. Okay. Dang it. All right, here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Once you get... Now, 
I will say the afterburner is is really like you really want to get an understanding of the controls first before you even use the afterburner. Like get an understanding of how your ship flies because once you understand that and then you you start using the afterburner, it just feels like so much better. A lot of negatives I can say right now which is always you know you don't want to you know give a game you know too much props in terms of like you need to be critical of it but you know it's really doing well everything that I would want especially again I cannot stress this enough the controls are just absolutely divine So, so here's, here, here's me moving the stick around. And so if I move, if I go from left to right, it turns towards that direction and moves the speed a little bit. My afterburner gives me that extra boost of speed, but I'm going at a reasonably constant speed until I turn. Button match through the depth screen quick to retry quickly. Yep, it looks like it looks like you can. Actually, let me f figure that out. FAQ. Nope, you can but button mash right that. It is the the quick the load times on it are absolutely quick. Charge up for the, the carrier. There we go. Dang it. Missed, missed that dodge. It does have an invincibility time as you come out, which is nice. Ah, uh, darn it.
Do I got one more to deal with? Ugh. Ah, dang it. Adam RPG, I have... I was going to say, I'm like, I don't know what I am. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. The different sub weapons, I feel like the missiles are just generally more going to be more useful, but I can't say that the extra power of that little load, that like extra load bearing, isn't doing its job. Like it's, it's doing a shit ton of damage. Come back here. There we go. Oh, that is just. And then we're going to move around and we're going to go down. Yeah, that's just. Uh, just that extra little movement. Making it feel like you're really in control. So glad I chose this to to try. Because it is apparent to me that I made the right choice on this one. So what what's interesting is that my 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 weapons also can be defensive. Like right there, he just launched a huge barrage of missiles at me, but I fired back with mine, and it actually ended up canceling each other out. go ah oh, this is I'm gonna be playing this all week there's no question like when it comes to dog fighting I need I need to try love racers because I really haven't and I really should but Remember now. There we go. The sound of defeat. Yeah, I'm going to play this all way. You know, when you're trying to do multiple things and you're trying, like, like right now, I've, I've got the extra, I got the work from my old job, which I'm doing. And then I'm trying to do those scripts and then I'm trying to learn a little bit of angular stuff on the side. Um, it's like when you get a game like this where it's just like you really want to keep on playing it a bunch, you're just sitting there going, Oh, oh no. This is going to take up my time. And it, it's it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. 
Can you shoot the bombs upward to see if they'll fall on the target? Yep. Ooh, Steve. Yep, it comes right back down. Ooh. Uh, web based stuff. Like, web server stuff and, um, programming. Woohoo! Like, I love the fact that you could turn off that... The feature in terms of, um, the skimming against the water. Because it really feels awesome when you, when you actually do it yourself. the sub go as I talk about hitting the sweet spot of that and then immediately getting my ass thrown at me I think the game plays out without UI. Do you think you could handle that? It's interesting that like I know what everything I'm doing now. I don't know when I can reload. So I don't know what my weapons are like. I really wish there was a limited option. But man, that does open up a lot of space on the screen. Okay, so the sub is going under. These ships have a little bit more to them. Whoa! Music's good. The, the the artwork is great in terms of like both the like cinematic portion and um, what they're doing in game. I also like the fact that you're actually able to hit them off screen. Like, like you can really, you can get an indicator that you actually hit them off screen too. Like, it's not just firing bullets. If you really, you know, work your way to it in terms of predicting, you can actually really keep up your accuracy. Now, I don't know what my health is like. That's a problem. I wish there was something on my jet that was like, maybe maybe if I could take one hit, it'll start to smoke.
you gonna fire anything or do you not have anything left? Oh god, you have something left. I wonder if, if one of the things they could add is an like a a layered UI in terms of um, what it shows. Your health is not dead. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bring that monster back to a hidden sky pirate base and they left the coordinates in the nav system. <laughs> then we should make money off of this? Ugh. New module unlocked. Ooh. Mechanical bat. Ooh, drones. Auto roll. Okay. We'll see what that does. Everybody talks about how you took down the Sepi Grape, but it's not also. Some air force just have been shot down the area and they're having trouble rescuing the pirates. Okay, so I... Wow. Okay, so I took a hit there, I'm pretty sure. So let's turn on the UI again. Yeah, I'm at one hit now. I do wish that there was some, maybe some indicators. Um, Presence critical. What are those orbs? Oh, there, there are of course things that. Oh wait, that's what I thought. That's what I. Those are things that I deployed. Of course. I don't know if I like the orbs as much. Oh god, presence critical. Take some enemies out. Easy peasy. Hexagon the shield lacking things flash red when you get hit. Yeah, but if you're in the middle of battle, you don't necessarily want to try to think of yourself like, oh, wait, what is my health at? Like, I got hit twice. So you can make some risky changes. Like you're, you know what? I really love the loadout system because of that. So I can change. Like, I can keep the shield in terms of like okay i can get hit multiple times if i don't use it um but i could trade that for oh i can get auto roll okay well great wonderful Said about to stop us. Mostly, looks like it's us to the punch through. Okay, so we have to just keep on scoring until we hit the score. Okay, that's a nice little. Ow.
So this one would make sense if, if, if it's all about getting those points. I'm also liking how the, the, they're keeping variety in the music um, in level. It's like, it's not thematic necessarily in terms of what the mission is, but I know that would be like extremely hard to do. Um, but on the other hand, it's really doing its job, like keeping the upbeat pace of things. nice to get like I don't know the last several games that I've played it's been nice to be on a roll in terms of like games that I at least have some enjoyment out of like not like absolutely hate or even like you know sit there going okay it's good for this kind of person it's been pretty hit 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 ow Did I re put on my shield? Or or is it the fact that the shield only lasts a certain amount of time? Oops. Yeah, the, the ball to kill on that one with the lasers was just like... It's like you can really in, like take this to another level in terms of like how um, cinematic the kills are. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm already at 6,000. I don't know how. <laughs> I, I took a hit though, but you know what? You let an audible grunt and satisfy. Yeah, you know this is that 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 is the best way um, of putting it. Is that this is just satisfaction. This is just like anybody who's wanted an aerial dogfight game. I feel like if you don't buy this, I, I have to question what you're doing. Um, there's just so much satisfaction, especially again. This may be the, some of the best controls in a aerial, air, aerial like shoot, not shoot 'em up, but like a game like this. Um, that I have experienced. Like it's just in that sweet spot of yeah. I feel like. The only thing that really holds this game back is just the fact that maybe the graphics aren't like flashy enough for some people, but I feel like as soon as you ask them to play it, like, hey, give it a try, 
they'll be like, oh, okay, no, I want this. I want to play this, especially on the Switch. Like, I can't see anybody being like, well, hold on. You know, it's too dumbed down for me. Not, or too, you know, it doesn't have the greatest of graphics or something like that. It's a pixel art game in that sense. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Wait, do I just keep on going? I mean, I have the score. Oh, so it's... I have to play the rest of the round. And it's going to be a score-based mission. I do wonder what difficulty the difficulty setting will be. Because that, that may add a whole lot of elements to it. Unless if it's just, oh, you get one life. Or, you know... That will be not necessarily a deal breaker, but that could turn this game from a, you know, a buy when you can to must buy now. Predictive element where it's just like you you get that one shot off that you wanted like that one where you're just timing it just right Can you honk the boat horn? This is the most important question. I don't know a S plus Ooh, I went past S plus The 3D choice for the hub. Um, give me a second. I don't think so with the hub. You can't even pet the cat. You know, you have a point there. Yeah, I don't see one for that one, unfortunately. All right, I'm gonna do one or two more missions before calling it a night. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so I wanna... Not a clean go, gotta redo. Good point. Babysitter. Oh boy. So we have to... Daka, daka, daka. Yeah. Wave two port. Ooh. I wonder. Wait, I I do wonder. Like, so I, I noticed that um, enemies can hit each other. So I'm wondering. Okay, it doesn't look like I can I, I can hurt my own guy. 
I was curious. Oh, he got hit? Seems a little bit like just all of a sudden. I wasn't actually paying attention to him though, so. Okay, come on. There we go. I'm getting a little bit used to HUD already. gotta pay attention during the cutscenes because if you don't you end up hitting the ground <laughs> yeah actually I don't know does he have health oh uh, yeah I can't see I couldn't see his health Look at chat and fly at the same time. Psh. Nice smooth landing in the asphalt, bro. You know what? You know what? It was the smoothest of landings. Ow, Jesus. Okay, so he's ta oh well, he's taking damage. And I'm taking damage too. I really can't control him though. Is it the fact that I gotta stay near him? little bit um a little bit shitty um it does seem it does stop you for a second with the laser it does like hit uh bring you back a bit um i definitely didn't notice it with it like the uh um missiles look how easy it is to just be like i don't care i don't care i don't care i don't care let's go already taken so much damage I think that may be the first flaw of the game like I like I don't know exactly what you want from me right now
He was literally off his own going up into the sky and immediately got shot. I don't think I was even out of the final wave thing. All right. I'm going to call it a night, guys. Um, you know what? I probably will play this again this week. Just on stream. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to probably play it again. Th I may actually even play it again tomorrow. Um, I'm realizing that the game that I had chosen for tomorrow was um, a free-to-play game. So, it's like, yeah, I could cover it. But on the other hand... Um, like, you could try it yourself. Um, so I'm going to play this again tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to get some sleep. Um, I do have to heavily recommend this for anybody looking for a dogfight game. Because this is probably one of the best I've played in the indie market. And I don't think that's going to change with any more timing. So I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good night. And as always, keep on gaming.